Hello guys, welcome to the forexbow.com. Victor with you here and we are actually earlier than scheduled with another idea. This is because this idea is very interesting and it also time sensitive. And what is more important, it offers a very good risk to reward ratio. So we decided to share that with you. Perhaps it will be of interest. So the idea on the pound versus Japanese yen. And before we start, I would like to remind you that all the information in this video is just for educational purpose and should not be considered as a financial advice. So quick uh, run up through previous ideas, Swiss franc, Japanese yen, still holding stop loss above this high, already mentioned that. Now, Australian, New Zealand dollar stop loss, as I said, can be placed at the break even point, half profit can be fixed that could have been done at this bottom that we have mentioned yesterday overall looking for continuation of the downtrend New Zealand Swiss franc yesterday we mentioned that if price will be going below the moving averages there is an exit so still you can hold this trade but if we look at the 15 minute chart it was very interesting what happened yesterday since there was no break below the moving averages there was a spike but yet price failed to close below. Overall stop loss can be placed uh, below again this level or fixing the profit with the New Zealand Swiss franc, also a good idea. And uh, so it, it's up to you whether they want to wait for this for more profits or not, but uh, protecting the profits, always perfect idea. Now, in regards to the gold, we placed stop loss at the break even point once we were in profit. So this is out. We are not no longer in the gold trade because it's actually went quite sharply to the upside. So there we would have triggered the exit signal with a zero loss. Moving on to the US oil. This was quite a nice move from the US oil. I would suggest placing again stop loss to the break even point. Uh, this was a correct, corrective move up. As you can see that we were expecting $33 area was the entry and overall stop loss at the break even and fixing part of the profit as well. Now, finally, we are moving back to the pound Japanese yen. The setup here is very interesting. What we see is that Fibonacci applied to the overall downtrend shows that there was a clean rejection of 133.14 then price produced low low corrected back and yet again back to this resistance area you can see it previously was support support resistance resistance yet again very interesting uh, price area for bears who prefer to sell so we have this potential short-term downside move and I will now go through the targets on the lower time frames. For our chart, what we see, guys, here is the rejection of the simple exponential, uh, sorry, simple moving average here. Multiple rejections. Price attempted to break but failed to close above. And this is just perfect. Now you can see we broke below the moving average right there. So I applied Fibonacci retracement level to this breakout point. And I also applied Fibonacci to this last wave to the downside. The last wave is very important since it produces, a, it gives very good levels. So I'm using breakout points last wave. There is certain approach to that. But as you can see, one Fibonacci, it corresponds to 427.2 FIPS at 130.35. And now we have another FIPS. 50% Fibonacci, 130.35 as well. And this is what I expect from this pair to do actually, because this resistance clearly has been rejected multiple times and stop loss can be placed just above few pips above this high, which means that the risk reward would be actually three to one or even four to one, which is quite good. On the other hand, if we have four close above these moving averages, it could be also an exit signal, making the risk reward even better. Now, finally, on the one hour chart, what we see, guys, is uptrend trend line. There was a breakout. If I zoom it in, we can see that the, there was a hourly close below the uptrend trend line as well as 200 simple moving average. 
this is very bearish signal. Now we have the corrective wave to the upside. I have applied two FIPS, one to this wave to the downside and another for, to this uptrend. And here we have two Fibonacci levels at the same time, 132.47. Oh, if I remove one of them, we will be able to see. So it's 61.8 and 23.6 FIPS. And this is the area of very strong resistance, which gives a good potential selling opportunity for the short to medium term on the uh, pound Japanese yen. And exit signal, I would be looking for our close above this high. As I said, this would trigger my exit for sure. But in the worst case scenario, stop loss just above this high. And the, the target is 130.35, which makes it a 200 potential P profit over 200 with actual stop loss of, of 60, 62 pips approximately, even lower if we watch the closing price, closing candle. So very good risk reward ratio, guys. And I hope you like the idea for today. We will update you tomorrow with the next idea. So uh, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to see the next trade idea tomorrow. Take care and profits to everyone.